I can't overemphasize how important light is if you want to get that wow factor into your pictures. It's more important than expression, sometimes composition, location. It's certainly more important than a whole host of menu settings you may find in the back of your camera. If you start shooting pictures in light that's inappropriate to the subject you're shooting, the picture is going to be dull, mediocre at best. When you're out there in the world shooting in available light, you need to plan ahead. You have to think about what you're going to do. You often have to think on your feet because when the light changes, what you were going to shoot, you may not be able to. You're going to have to choose something else. You'll also have to be very patient. This row of trees on the South Downs caught my eye one dull cloudy day and as you can see the picture itself is pretty dull. But I could see little patches of brightness sweeping the hillside beyond so I settled down to wait and see if one would reach my trees. It took about an hour and a half for a gap in the clouds to let the sun through in just the right place but because I had the composition already set up on a tripod all I had to do was press the shutter as the sun reached the trees. Big colourful subjects like these balloons not only need big strong sunlight to saturate the colours, it needs to be at a low angle to make the textures more interesting too. See how the sun's lighting them from the side. The same shot at midday wouldn't be anything like as exciting because the light would be coming straight down. Most of our day-to-day -day lives are spent with the sun directly overhead, so by going out and shooting a picture when it isn't, you can instantly make a shot like this stand out from the rest of the crowd. I found these cans in a recycling sack about 6.30am one summer's morning and the same thing's going on here. The light's coming from a sun low in the sky and hitting them from the side which brings out their colour and texture. If you're into nature photography look out for early morning pools of light coming through trees and it puts highlights on the plants. These shots were taken at Exbury Gardens at 6am in June so the sun was low and slanting and spotlighting tiny areas like a stage light. You have to stay alert and move pretty quick when you spot one because they don't stay still. After a few moments they've moved. As we walk around the world just looking at things about us, we don't tend to notice what the light's doing beyond whether it's bright or whether it's dark. But there are qualities to different light and you can find all sorts of interesting light in all sorts of interesting and very varied places. Behind me I've got the ancient city gate to, the, to Southampton and there's all sorts of things just happening on this wall. Now look, over here we've got a very angled sun and it's coming across those stones. It's putting these little sort of highlights across it and it's making it very textured. So if you've got a texture to show, that's kind of great light. Back here a bit in this corner where my hand is, it's in shade. That's a very soft flat light. If you look at the stones, there's no real texture to them like there is there. That would be great for a very soft and subtle subject like maybe flowers or maybe even a portrait. Up this end here, we've got the sun hitting it smack on the wall like that face on, which on the stones it's not brilliant because they've lost all their shape and texture but it would be a great place maybe to put a model leaning against the wall with some sunglasses on just sort of looking up like that you could shoot it in from the side and then on this very rough and rocky bit here it's really bringing up the texture because all these highlights are glancing off these nobbles and it really makes for a very 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 textured shot by playing around and experimenting with these, all these different pieces of light, you'll get to learn what is appropriate light for the shot you want to take. And appropriate really is the key word here.